Hello friends, Tony here. Now in this video, I'm going to create two components. One is going to be the logic for the form. So I'm going to move the form in that component and another one for the list of tasks. As you can see, I have made some changes in the form and also on the card for lists. And you can find them in the GitHub repository. So if you go to github.com and navigate the code with Tony official, slash livewire dash version 3 dash tutorial this is the repository for this project so you can find all the code there all the changes i made okay i'm going to close this and now if i open here in the task index we have a bunch of code here so let's see so i'm going to move this the form component and this one the list component let's open the terminal and here I'm going to say php artisan make colon live wire and the name of the component. But I want the component to be inside of the tasks directory. So I'm going to say tasks dot list or we can say task dash list here. If I hit enter, okay, now we have the class to be inside the tasks directory and task list php and the blade to be in the tasks directory and task dash list blade now let's create one more for the form and i'm going to make it to say tasks form okay the same thing now let's close this and as i told you i'm going to move the logic here just copy this div which has the for each tasks so i'm going to cut this not copy cut and move that logic in the tasks task list blade so just paste that in it's save let's close and then copy this one or cut this one and navigate in the tasks form and paste that in okay save now in the tasks index we need to add the task in the task list and the task form so if you go to livewire documentation here we have nesting components and livewire allow you to nest additional livewire components inside of a parent component and if we scroll down so to nest a live wire component within the parent component, simply include it in the parent components blade view. Below is an example. So live wire and add it, for example, to do list. In our case, let's add the live wire colon tasks dash list. I'm going to close that and also live wire colon not task list in this case but task four and i'm going to close that now if i save and if i open the project and yeah we have this because we need to add first of the tasks directory so task dot task list and the same for the form and now yeah we have undefined the variable tasks because we make here uh, for each tasks but we don't have that so in the tasks list we make a for each task and also in the task list class we don't have that uh, tasks here so what we can do is we can pass and if we go also to live wire so here we have now passing props to children so passing data from a parent component to a child component is straightforward. In fact, it, it is very much like passing props to a typical blade component. For example, let's check out the total list and here we have and passes a collection of to do's to a child component called to do count. As you can see here, it is passing the to do's and then now that the to-dos has been passed to the child component, you can receive that data through the child component's mount method. Okay, 
we learned that so we need to create the mount method and say create also the to-dos and say this to-dos to be able with the to-dos we pass in the parent component good so let's do that let's open the task index and in the task list we're going to say tasks to be able with dollar sign tasks now if i save and let's go to task list here and create first i'm going to create the public tasks okay then create the mount method and say this tasks to be equal with app models task not like this but we need to receive the tasks from the parent component and say now this task is going to be equal with the task we get from there now if i save and see on the browser if i refresh yeah we have the tasks now we need to move the logic for the form also for that when we go to task index we call this save method and let's and also we injected the task for so let's cut this save the task index and let's go now to task for here i'm going to paste that in we need to import the task for and save that in a refresh okay now let's use the fake filter to create a new task and let's say submit task created but as you can see it's not updating right here now if i say refresh yeah the task is here but when we create that task is not uh, showing on the it's not updating on the task list and we need to work with that in the next video okay friends so that's it all about this video now don't forget if you like such videos uh, subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best